this is your astrology forecast for December, Christmas and New Year's Eve 2015. Thank you for joining me. On the 11th of December, the new moon occurs. Now, this happens once a month and it's a time when new energy flows into your chart. This new moon is in Sagittarius in your ninth house. Now, what this new energy will do for you is it will really get you very focused and clear on what your goals are moving forward, so 2016. Specifically when it comes to work, when it comes to travel, and when it comes to your skill set. So ask yourself around the 11th of December, what do I want to achieve next year? Do I want to go back to school to improve my skills? Do I want to live in a different country? What is it that I want to ultimately do in my working life? You'll get a lot of good information come through on the 11th of December. You specifically are going to benefit from this new moon because you Aries are a fire sign and Sagittarius is also a fire sign. So this new moon will feel very comfortable to you and the messages will come through loudly and clearly. Now on the 24th of December, and I want to say happy Christmas to everyone who celebrates on the 24th, there is a T-square in the chart. It connects Chiron, Jupiter and the Moon. And what you'll notice, Aries, is that you have a great deal of compassion for people during this time. You'll also have a kind of um, sense of your own positive placement in life. And I think when you communicate with people on the 24th, you will be in a position where you can really empathize and identify with someone with what someone is going through. And you'll be able to make positive practical suggestions. So have a think on the 24th about your place in life. Be grateful for all of the good things you have and then connect with other people who may not be in such a good position. You really are in a, in a, in a place of power where you can help other people and that will really be appreciated when you, when you connect with those people. Now the 25th of December, Merry Christmas to everyone who celebrates on the 25th. There is a full moon that occurs on this day, and the full moon occurs in Cancer. It couldn't be any better, considering this is uh, Christmas, because the full moon in Cancer really gives life to positive feelings in a family setting. It's all about harmonious feelings, being nurturing, being kind, being loving to people close to you. Um, and this also occurs right on top of the IC, which is the angle of family. So people that you... Um, people who you don't usually get on with during the year, you'll be able to overlook the usual annoyances. I think you'll genuinely be in a place of caring and compassion for people in your family and the people you're celebrating with. And most importantly, I think you're going to be able to have a good time. So if you do find the Christmas period kind of, you know, a little bit nerve-wracking or you go into these situations with a little bit of reluctance or hesitation, for you, Aries, there's really no need this year. You're going to have a wonderful Christmas. And you'll really benefit from spending time with loved ones. On the 28th of the month, there is a grand trine that occurs in the chart. And that signals an area of real talent and joy. You will feel a certain sense of strength within yourself. And you will have made decisions on the 11th about what your future is going to look like. That strength really really allows you to enjoy this part of the year to really just let your hair down to have fun to get excited about silly things and to just really live in the day and to have a wonderful wonderful couple of days here at the end of the year especially on the 28th now new year's eve there's a stellium that occurs in your chart and whenever i use that word people comment what did he say so let me spell it it's s-t-e L-L-I-U-M, it's a stellium, and what that means is that three or more planets uh, combine and sit in the same area of the chart. And in your chart, it's the north node of the moon, which technically isn't a planet, it's, it's an angle. Jupiter and uh, the luminary, the moon, all sit in your sixth house in Virgo. So what that means is um, you're going to feel very, very comfortable very much happy about the things that you've done in 2015, looking forward to 2016 with a real sense of joy, hope and purpose. And really what this signals to me as the last day of the year here is that 2016 is when you can really achieve your hopes and dreams by taking practical action. 
Jupiter will support you throughout the majority of 2016 and it's really a wonderful year for you to realize what it is you've been dreaming of. So I hope you have a wonderful festive season. If you'd like a private reading with me uh, in regard to your career or relationships or family life, spirituality, anything you may be struggling with, then please visit my website. It's gregoryscott.com. Click on the readings tab and you'll see the types of readings that I offer. And please remember to subscribe to the channel. Have a wonderful Christmas and I'll speak to you soon. I'm using the Radiant Rider Weight deck for this reading. Let's see what's coming up. Okay, 